Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip views and transfer news from in and around the Den. We was going to start with some of yesterday's news because I was at work yesterday and I couldn't put any videos out. However, hot off the press this morning, London News Online has broken the news that Matt Smith is set to leave the club for pastures new and League 2 in the shape of Salford City. Uh, look, it's only good news as far as I'm concerned. Matt Smith joined the club, of course, in July 2019 under the tenure of former Millwall manager Neil Harris. And in that time, since joining from QPR, he has scored 21 goals in 102 appearances for the Lions. He came into the team, didn't he? He came to the club and I thought it was him and Bradshaw were going to be the new sort of Morrison-Gregory replacement. But as we've learned... Over the years, Matt Smith doesn't work like that. He's not a target man. He will get on the end of crosses and he will score your goals. He had a great first season with us and was a real threat in the division. Over the years, of course, look, as with any footballer, age is creeping in and fair play to Matt Smith. Wish him nothing but all the best. Clearly an intelligent guy, likeable, brilliant professional. Came through the non-leagues to get to where he's got to and as I said, it's progression in, in most footballers' careers that when you get to a certain age, you start dropping back down the leagues. Apparently, Salford suits him. His family are from up that way and his wife's pregnant, so no better time for him to move on from the club. I said a couple of weeks ago on the podcast that, you know, no disrespect to him, as I said, great servant for the club, and he went from being our main striker to sort of an impact sub and scoring some very important goals for us at important times. However, I feel since the start of this season, and there was a little bit of... Um, it was a bit up in the air whether he's going to sign a new contract or not. Him and Alex Pierce both got offered new deals on reduced terms and he took it, although I'm sure he wouldn't have been over the moon about that. But I just feel, you know, again, nothing personal with his age creeping in that he's lost his edge for this division now. But League One, he would do the business. So League Two, I think it's an absolute fantastic bit of business for Salford City. I expect him to do very, very well in League Two. As I said, I think he's still, you know, at the level of League One. But in the Championship... He stopped coming on as much. When he does come on, he's not winning them headers he was before. He's not getting them, them important goals. And if he is getting his head on it, it's powder puff. It's not enough on it. So I think it's definitely the right time for Matt Smith to move on from the club. And I think it suits us. As I said, you know, I'll look into our striker situation in a minute. But no disrespect, great servant for the club. But definitely not a threat for us anymore in this division. So a little bit of a... None and void waste of a substitution. In my opinion, you may disagree. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Where does it leave us as a club? Well, it leaves us currently with one fit striker. Benikafobe, the only fit striker at the club. Tom Bradshaw injured, waiting on news from his injury on Saturday. Uh, apparently, Gary Rowett said it's not good. Potentially could be another ACL for Bradshaw, which will rule him out for the rest of the season. Of course, Matt Smith, we've discussed. John Daly Mavarsen also looks set to leave the club on loan to Bolton. However, similar to Smith, not really fe well, not featuring at all. Mavarsen not featuring at all at the club in, in, in any level. So those players will need to move on. And it leaves us with one striker at the club. Of course, I will go back to, as I always do, Isaac Tanto Alafe on loan at Sutton, banging goals in in League 2. Helping get promoted last season as their top scorer with 16 goals. So... Surely now, he does have the recall option on his contract to get called back in January, as does Alex Mitchell at Leighton Orient. However, that won't happen because Hayden Muller's now returned from St. Johnston. We've got to dip into the transfer market. This, will, this won't force the club because they wouldn't let Matt Smith go unless they had something planned. Um, of course, we've been linked with Papa Habib Gouet from a Belgian side whose name I can't remember, and also Zane or Zion Fleming from Fortuna Sittard in the Dutch First Division. However, I think he's more of a 10. So, of course, the club must have plans to bring people in. And I expect that to happen at some point this week, of course, because we travel to Blackpool on Saturday. As I've said, currently, we've only one fit striker at the club. Jed's still at the club, still a middle player. However, injured, and I wouldn't class him as a striker. Mason Bennett, you might also be shouting at the screen. But Mason Bennett isn't an out-and-out -out striker. Although he's done well when he's played there, we have one recognised striker at the club fit at the minute, and that is Ben Ekafobe. So I expect Gary Rowett to get things moving this week, and hopefully we can welcome a new signing in time for the trip to Blackpool away on Saturday. But as I've said in this video, Matt Smith is almost still done. He's in advanced talks to join League 2's Salford City. 
So that's your lot for the Den Daily. I will be back with at least one more video today, potentially, hopefully, more of my day off today. So get them through the door, gaffer, and I'll just keep pumping those videos out all day. If you haven't already, as I always say, please subscribe to Lions TV. 25,000 is the target. I'll see you a bit later on today. Come on, you Lions.